Hi, I'm Stella McWhorter, and I am a 2020-2021 4-H State Ambassador from Cleburne County. And today I'm conducting a career interview with Mr. Jay Grubbs of Raylan Construction. <laughs> My name is Jay Grubbs with Ray Lynn. Okay, so Mr. Grubbs, the first question I want to ask you is, what was your major in college? Uh, my major in college was building science at Auburn University, and I graduated in 2002. Okay, and what is a day like in your role, and what is your role? Um, my role is we, well, I started with Ray Lynn in 2002 when I graduated, and so I'm about to begin my 19th year with them. Um, we're based out of Carrollton, Georgia, and I spent um, the large portion of my career working in and around Georgia, and in 2015, they let me open up an office in Oxford, Alabama, where I serve as the uh, vice president um, of the Alabama division. Um, and we just uh, manage all the construction projects um, within the state of Alabama. All right. Um, what would you say is the best thing about your job? The best thing about my job is there is never a dull moment um, there is no getting bored with what you're doing in the construction industry because every day is a different challenge. Um, every hour is a different challenge. So there's no complacency in the construction industry. Okay. Um, what kind of problems do you face in your line of work? Well, as within any line of work, there's always challenges. Um, I guess the biggest challenge we have to face um, is basically taking a set of documents that an architect would draw in two dimensions and actually mm -hmm. put that document to work um, in vertical construction. Um, and with all the challenges you're faced with conflicts of mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, um, making everything work. Because just because an architect draws it doesn't always mean that it can be done the way they draw it. Um, the other challenge is uh, the environment you're working in because in construction, you cannot control the weather. So yes. weather is a huge challenge. The other challenge we have in our industry, as with a lot of industries, is the availability of skilled manpower and skilled manpower is steadily uh, declining and has been declining in just my 19 years career. Mm -hmm. What kind of hours do you work? Long hours, lots of hours. Um, generally speaking, the construction work day is generally a 7 to 3.30. Um, work day and uh, but um, when you're in leader, a leadership role um, you're basically on call at all times so um, our biggest tool is our phone obviously and if that phone is on we are typically on call and working because questions get answered and Questions get asked and answered before hours and after hours. Um, so. Okay. Um, what do you think has been your greatest success in your career? Um, the greatest success in my career? Um, you know, every project has its... Um, its own set of successes. Mm -hmm. so every project, seeing it from start to finish, um, is very rewarding. Um, but to pick out a, a single project that's been the most successful um, would be uh, pretty difficult. Um, probably the most fun project I ever did was the um, 
University of West Georgia Athletic Complex. Um, that was probably um, the most um, enjoyable project that I did. All right. Could you tell us some other projects that you have worked on? Sure. Um, well, when I got out of school, my first project out of school was in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Uh, built a performing arts center and a gymnasium in Blue Ridge, um, up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And um, from there, I went to Albany, Georgia, um, and built a, about a 200,000 square foot uh, school uh, right north of Albany in Dawson, Georgia. And from there, I went to Rome, Georgia, and built a lot of schools in Rome and spent about three years in Savannah, Georgia, did four projects down in uh, the low country of Georgia, um, and did some other projects in Rome, um, did some projects, did the West Georgia project in Carrollton, Georgia, and then um, basically opened the office in Alabama and worked mainly all over East Central Alabama, Northeast and East Central Alabama the last five years. All right. Um, what advice would you give someone interested in your profession? Um, hmm. Stay focused, um, work hard and have a good attitude. Um, it's not um, rocket science what we do. It's a. Uh, it's not difficult from the X's and O's standpoint of it, um, but it is a very demanding profession. Um, it can be very stressful at times, but it does um, have a lot of rewards associated mm -hmm. with it. But um, I would submit that if you keep a good attitude and the work ethic is there. And when I say that work ethic has to be there, it's not for leadership people in the construction industry It is not a seven to three thirty job. It's a, uh, um, there's lots of 10 and 12 hour days. So, um, so yeah, I would just say work hard, stay focused and keep a good attitude. All right. Those are all the questions I have for you. If you have anything else you'd like to tell us, you could. <laughs> it's um, not. I think you. I think you need to uh, think very strongly about going into some sort of the construction industry. I think you would be a big asset. I'm very interested. This is why I wanted to interview you. Well, I appreciate you interviewing me. <laughs>